Hey guys, that's Repti back with today's video. So today's just gonna be a video on my hamster's bin cage yet again, but it's because as you can see here, I did end up getting a habit trail ovo connected to it. And so far what I connected to it is just this den. All it has is toilet paper and a little chew toy. So basically I'm just making this video because I have not seen many videos telling you how to connect habit trail ovos to bin cages. And uh, I was searching for that and I couldn't really find it. So I just pretty much did it myself and made sure it was escape proof. So now I'm just gonna share it with you if you don't really care, then click off this video, but if you did search it, then this is the video for you. And don't worry that there's no wheel in it, I was just cleaning it. So basically, for me, I did it in the mesh part of my hamster's cage. There's only this mesh part and the whole mesh lid. So the smartest place would be on this mesh part. And then basically, basically I held the little ovo, this is a T-tube, basically I held the little T-tube on the outside and just cut a circle that was smaller than the tube. And then I pushed the tube through, as you can see, it bent some of the wire, which is perfectly fine because it's really snug. But then just to make sure that it wouldn't get out, I put one of these locking pieces. And this locking piece really just makes the whole thing snug, like it does not pull out. I'm pretty sure to pull it out, you would have to just break the mesh completely. So it's fully escape proof still. Um, but it still is the first day, so I'm going to be watching how my hamster reacts. It did go in, it did like search around, it was interested. But I am going to be adding a couple more attachments. If you're wondering, it's just held up by three books here, because it was like leaning. But I'm going to attach curves going down to here, and then it'll just be a den here, which will be a sand bath. And that's pretty much it for the Habit Chill Ovo right now. Because I don't want it to be too grand or something or anything. You know, the bin cage is still going to be its main home. This is just add-ons if it gets bored. Um, but for now, let's just do a quick cage overview. This is a bin cage. Obviously, you can tell that. I don't know, it's not focusing. This is a bin cage. You can tell that by now. 8.5 inch comfort wheel. This is just a toilet paper tube. A bendable bridge on top of this just wooden house. This is a little ball. I forget what it's called, but it's just natural wood. This is just half a mineral stick. This is a KT Nibbler, uh, just a tube. Another Heidi house, which it doesn't use at all. And then it's food bowl, water bowl, and, and of course the Habit Trail Ovo that I just got. And I'm trying to find, I'm pretty sure it's back here. This is a Whimsy's Chew Toy. It used to be an alligator, but as you can tell now, it's a destroyed alligator because my hamster completely loved it. Um, but yeah, so it's a really big chewer, my hamster. It's, it is a male. I don't know why I keep calling it it, but he is a male, obviously. And uh, yeah, so here's just this thing. I thought it was cool to show you because it's just destroyed. And I did forget another chew toy I have in here, just this. So I'm just gonna do an organization too quickly just to get everything out of the way. Here I have a, a house which has a hole in it because it chewed its way through. This is a Living World Chew Nose. More of those confetti chew sticks. Here is a Whimsy's toothbrush. It's the same thing. It's just a different shape than an alligator. Here I have alfalfa chews, which I forgot to say, but there is one right there. This is this rosewood thingy, but it doesn't really work good. It keeps tipping over, so I'm not going to use it. Um, food bowl for when he gets bigger, which he already is. Like, he almost does not fit in that food bowl. And then this one is more like the treats, but this is just have a chill over lot. But this is more for treats. I got one sunflower seed jar and two. And then I have Living World Drops. They're basically... And then I have Living World Drops. They're basically yogurt drops, but Canada's version. And then I have these two flavors of Complete Croc. They're actually pretty good. My hamster loves them. Basically, it's like a hard shell on the outside. And then inside, there's like a paste. This one's carrot, and this one is mixed berry, or just, sorry if the focus is out, the lighting's pretty bad. This one is just berry, as you can see. I thought it was mixed berry, but it's just berry. And they really smell like berries, and my hamster just absolutely loves these. And then the last thing in my hamster drawer is the Oxbow Essentials Hamster and Gerbil Food, and then this brand, Pet Store brand of food. I don't really know what it is, but I do like a mix of it. This was the total cage tour. As you can see, I put the lid on. This is the lid with the mesh. And the habit shell oval. I'll be sure to do like updates if I do get any more parts. And uh, there's me. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.